Hey everybody, today I want to talk real quickly about my new Genius Boost GB150 battery jumper. And one of the first things that I got when I first got my Jeep was a battery jumper. I didn't want to get stuck out in the middle of nowhere with a dead battery. Battery jumpers are relatively inexpensive, so it's always a good idea just to have one with you so that if you ever run into that situation, it's easy to get going again. Now the very first one I bought was one of the old fashioned lead acid battery ones, which weighs about 40 pounds. I've had this one for years and uh, there's nothing wrong with it, although it was relatively expensive and it is very big, bulky, and heavy. Now I've seen the new uh, smaller lithium ion type battery jumpers and to be honest, I never really trusted them because they're so small and so lightweight. I really didn't believe that they could work as good as a big old fashioned car battery that I was uh, lugging around. But we were filming an episode of N4 Low last year and one of the drivers left their air conditioning fans on for only 20 or 30 minutes while they were airing down and completely ran down their battery. One of the other people on the run had a, a small Genius Boost and uh, they hooked it up and started the Jeep right up. And I was really kind of impressed, uh, one, at how quickly it just started the Jeep right up, but how small and compact the little Genius Boost was. So after seeing uh, that they do actually work well, I talked to the people at Genius Boost and they sent me a GB150 to carry around and try and uh, let everybody know what I think. Now, of course, one of the obvious things about the Genius Boost is that it's very small and compact. This is one of the larger units uh, and it only weighs five or six pounds. You compare that to the 40 pounds or so, or 30 pounds of the lead acid battery type one, my old one, uh, and that's a huge difference. It's also much smaller and easier to stow away. It's actually a lot smarter too. Now this is the GB150. It's one of the larger ones. It's uh, got 4,000 amps compared to my lead acid battery, which only has about 1,000 amps. It's really easy to use. It's almost idiot proof. Uh, it's got a lot of safety features. Uh, the one that I like most is that it's, uh, it's spark proof. Even if you touch the, uh, the two leads together, uh, it won't spark. I don't even know how that works, but it's cool. Now, another great thing about the Genius Boost is that it's not just for uh, jump starting your battery. It's great for uh, what I use it a lot for, charging camera batteries, drone batteries, uh, video game batteries, that sort of thing. You can uh, charge your phone, your iPad, many, many times off of just one charge. Now I saw the Genius Boost work firsthand back when we were filming that episode last year, but I wanted to give my new one a test run. So I have a friend that's got a dead and dying and very sad Jeep sitting in a storage lot nearby. So I took the Genius Boost down there to see if I could start up his Jeep. That Jeep has been out of commission for years. If there was ever a dead battery to test it on, this was it because it was completely dead. I had nothing on the dashboard, no dings, no chimes, no sound, no nothing. Turn on the ignition and there's nothing. No lights, no sounds. Nothing, absolutely dead. So I hooked up the Genius Boost and uh, after just a couple of seconds, the dash lights came to life. Started getting the familiar ding sounds from having the key in the ignition. All the dash lights have lit up. Let's see what happens when we turn the key. Gave it a couple of cranks and after cranking it a few times and getting the gas moving around, it actually started up. <laughs> then I disconnected the Genius Boost, turned the Jeep off and went to restart it again. The battery was still completely flat. Hooked the Genius Boost back up, started it up again. I did this a couple of different times and each time the Jeep started right up. Even after cranking over several times to get all the fuel flowing, the Genius Boost still had plenty of power to start it right up. All right, so if that Genius Boost can start this, it can start just about anything. Now the GB150's got several different features on it. It's got a super bright LED, it's 500 lumens, it's super bright. It's got a voltmeter right on the front of it, so when you connect it up to the battery, you'll know how dead it is. And the GB150, which is the model I have, is good for engines up to about 10 liters. So this is for larger engines like trucks or Jeeps. The smaller models don't have as much power and for a larger engine may not work as good or you may not get as many cranks out of it. That's why I got the GB150 because it's made for the larger engines. Another great feature, and this is one of the main reasons why I like the Genius Boost and having a portable battery in the Jeep in general, 
is because it's got a USB output so that I can plug in my camera, I can plug in my phone, my son can plug in his video games, and you can get dozens and dozens of recharges on most devices out of the battery. It comes out of the box with everything you need to start using it. It's got the jumper cables permanently mounted onto it so they can't get lost. It has power LED indicators on the front so you know if it needs a charge or not, it'll give you a warning. It comes with a 12 volt charging cable that plugs into the USB input. And it's got an adapter so that you can charge it up just by plugging it into your cigarette lighter. You can also reverse that adapter and things that you would normally plug into your cigarette lighter to charge up on, you could plug into your Genius Boost and charge them up on that as well. So there you have it, the Genius Boost. This is the 150. It's a great uh, battery charger, battery jumper to carry around with you. It's lightweight, it's easy to use, it's pretty much idiot proof. You can get it directly from their website, which is no.co. There's a link down below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Or if you've used the Genius Boost, uh, leave a comment below and let me know what you think.